Hello and thanks for joining us for another of our weekly news roundups from Pro AVL Central. Without doubt, one of the major events of the past week was a welcome return to a real live trade show in the shape of the Pro Light and Sound Show in Guangzhou. As the first international audio and lighting trade show to take place since lockdown, we consider ourselves very fortunate that Su Su, our Chinese manager, was able to attend in person. Early figures point to around a 50% reduction in both exhibitor and visitor numbers, but you've got to hand it to the Messe organization for pushing forward with opening the doors despite the challenges. Strict regulations to ensure a COVID safe show included WeChat visitor registration, as well as barcode and QR downloads for track and trace. But whilst masks were worn, there was no enforcement of social distancing in the aisles or booths. Over the past few years, the organizers have worked hard on encouraging more international visitors. But with travel restrictions from many countries still in place, and ongoing concerns about a possible second wave of infection, it was inevitable that those numbers were going to be thin on the ground this time round. But the general consensus among those exhibitors who had taken space was cautiously optimistic. And for those who were unable to get to the physical event, live streaming was in place from the floor as well as the seminar and forum areas. It will be interesting to see whether feedback from Guangzhou reassures visitors to attend future events such as the Infocom Beijing show, which is still scheduled to take place in late September. Reassurance was very much the order of the day for ISE's Mike Blackman during his insightful chat with Richard for our Press Play series discussing the realities of going ahead with the Barcelona show in February and openly admitting that it's likely to be more of a European than international show this time around. Across the pond, renowned sound reinforcement and touring company Claire Global announced the acquisition of 8th Day Sound Systems, citing a specific goal of supporting dedicated relationships for touring customers from both rosters. The company will become a standalone brand under the growing Claire Global umbrella, joining Britannia Row Productions in the UK, JPJ in Australia, and Audio Rent Claire AG in Switzerland. Regular followers will know that we've been covering and supporting various initiatives to kickstart the live events industry. And so it was encouraging to report this week that the Lights Are Red campaign from South Africa is gaining traction with more positive discussions between the movement and government officials. Sharif Baker, a Lights Are Red spokesperson, spoke of serious progress being made. That's all for this week, but keep an eye out for the September-October editions of Pro AVL Asia and Pro AVL MEA which will be available to read online from Monday. As usual, we've got a great mix of exclusive features, case studies and interviews to keep you up to date. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.